RPG rulebooks and systems can seem big and intimidating. On Too Long Didn't Play, we break down the seemingly complex content of tabletop RPGs in about five minutes so you can decide if you want to check a system out in more detail. Now, normally I start our reviews by narrating a little bit of flavor text based on our actual play of a game with the designer. And while I could do that for this particular game, I think it makes the most sense to start simply with Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, the world was cruel, and there was a witch who knew it well. And so she sold her heart away and built a house in the woods, where the world could never find her. At first, she would let no one into her fortress, but... In the long march of days, a strange thing happened. In her own cold and spiteful way, the witch made a friend, and then another, and then several more, until her house was teeming with colorful faces and complicated lives. The house would come to be known as Yazeba's Bed and Breakfast, and it would last for a very long time. Now, on the front door of Yaziba's bed and breakfast, there's a sign that reads, No soliciting, trespassing, romancing, snooping, snitching, or unnecessary small talk welcome. Yaziba reserves her temper for those she catches violating these rules. Underneath that sign, a second smaller sign, which reads, Room for everyone. Welcome, guest, to Yaziba's bed and breakfast. In Yaziba's, you won't create a character, you'll pick a character, and you typically only pick them for a session or chapter at a time. You'll pick from a resident, someone who lives and typically works at the bed and breakfast, or a guest, someone who's just dropping by for a short stay. Each character comes whole cloth with an identity including a name, pronouns, and a little bit about who they are. They also have a set of bingos, their strengths, and whoopsies, their weaknesses. And most of the time, they have a journey, which is best thought of as how they're growing and changing over the course of time. It could be something that they are struggling with or something that they're hoping to achieve, and it tracks their process and growth through the game. This character will grow and change as the game is played, but you won't always be the person playing this character. You'll receive the character, inhabit them for a little while, add your voice to theirs, and then you'll watch them change before you pass them on until you play them again sometime down the road. One person in the game is also called the concierge. The concierge is not the GM for the game. They play a character just like everyone else, but before, after, and during sessions, they make sure that everyone has what they need, that details are documented and managed, and that people are taken care of like, well, like a concierge. We'll come back to some of their responsibilities in just a minute, though. How is it played? As I mentioned, Yaziba's is broken into a series of chapter, and each chapter is a session that takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. Every chapter has an introduction that's read by the concierge with other players filling in voices of their characters, and it orients you to what's happening. It might be catching fireflies, putting on a concert, someone getting a part-time job at a coffee shop, making a big breakfast for everybody, or any other number of activities on, in, or around the B&B. After this narration, the concierge will make sure everybody knows how the chapter works, including any specific bingos, whoopsies, or other rules that are in play for the chapter based on its mood. A chapter might be frantic, which means you'll be flipping a lot of coins and trying to get them to land on all heads. It might be pensive, which means you'll be passing tokens around and reflecting on questions at the end. It might be relaxed, which works similarly to a lot of other belonging outside, belonging type games where you earn tokens on whoopsies and spend them on bingos to move you closer to your goals. Or it might be eerie which will work like a tarot-based card game with an oracle that'll depend on the cards you draw from a standard deck. But here's the thing. You don't need to know most of that to start playing Yazebas. The game isn't in the mechanics of any chapter. It's the story of how these characters live, 
grow and change along with the place that they inhabit. The pros and the words of the game, along with the choices you make during and between chapters, are really the heart of Yazivas. The bed and breakfast, that is. Only the bravest or the most foolish among us would talk about Yaziba's actual heart. There are thousands of amazing things buried in Yaziba's B&B, some of them quite literally. The game draws from tremendous legacy board game and video game concepts. You can unlock characters, chapters, and other things as you go through the game. You'll write on, cut up, and change your characters and the world you're playing in in permanent ways. This is actually the main job of the concierge, to document and note with the other players the changes that get made from session to session, and to be the person who carries the game forward. I think one of the most intimidating things about playing Zebas is knowing, am I doing this right? Am I playing the game right the first time you sit down? And in most ways, that's the question you should be asking because it's what almost every character is wondering. Will I be famous? What is it like to grow old or grow up? What is it like to live in a new place? Will I become who I am on the inside? Do I have a place here? If you, my friends, have ever asked any of these questions, then it's time for you to schedule a trip to Yaziba's Bed and Breakfast. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Vicinda, Chief Alchemist at Plus One EXP, where we multi-class in tabletop game design, beard and skincare alchemy, and the Bardic College of Content Creation. If you have thoughts or questions about Yazibas, or if there's a system that you want to know more about, but don't have time to learn, let us know in the comments below or at Plus One EXP on any social media platform. And remember, if you're ever hungry for a late night snack of RPG content, tap the bell and this night porter will bring you something delicious. Here at Plus One, we want to create professional quality content for designers of all sizes. If you want to help us create content for small or even first time game designers, consider supporting our team over on Kofi. I don't know if you can tell this is a bathrobe at all. Like, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for like Tony, Tony reclining at the B&B. I, I, I don't know. I, it's probably, it gives you something.